Hello class, we are still continuing with uh, our class and the class was all about using four-figure elementary mathematical tables to solve questions. Today we are going to look at questions that involve use of tables of logarithms in particular. So we are going to consider an example here and see how we shall use the four-figure elementary mathematical tables to evaluate tables of logarithms to evaluate 0 0.032 times 14.26 all over 0 0.006 everything raised to power 2 over 3. So in this question we are going to come up with a table and this table is going to look like this. So it's always good to come up with a table and the table should look like the one I'm about to show you. So in this table we are going to have the numbers written in the first column, then the standard form of that particular number written in the second column, then the logarithm, the logarithm of that number. So for this particular question, we shall start with this number, 0 0.032, so we write it here, 0 0.032, that is the number. Then this number, we are going to write it in its standard form. And when we write in its, in its standard form, we shall get 3.2 times 10 because the decimal has moved how many times? 1, 2, from left to right. So it becomes a negative. So 3.2 times 10 raised to power negative 2. Then to find the logarithm of that number, having written it in its standard form, we need to take the power. So this one is going to be our bar 2 point. Then we look at the logarithm of 3.2 in our four-figure elementary mathematical table. So what is the logarithm of 3.2? So we look at the very, very first page, the logarithm of 3.2 as you can see, is 0 0.5051. It is here. The logarithm of 3.2 is 0 0.5051. So 0 0.5051, 5051. So that becomes but 2.5051. So we are done with the first number. Then we go to the second number. So the second number is 14.26. This number again we write it in its standard form and that becomes 1.426 times 10. Because we have moved from right to left one times then it becomes a positive one. Therefore to find the log of this particular number we take the power of that base that is one point then we check the logarithm of 1.426 from our tables 1.426 we come to our tables we look at 1.42 then 6 this is 1.42 it coincides at 0.1523 so we are looking for 1.426 so you come and look at 6 then it is telling me here to add 18. So add 18 to 0.1523. So you have 0 0.1523 and you are supposed to add 18. Remember this 18 you are adding it as a decimal. So you are not adding it as a whole number. So the rest are zeros. So when you add this you get, this is what you get. 0 0.1541 so that is 0 0.1541 1541 
0.1. Now, when we look at the condition here, these two numbers here from the questions, they are being multiplied. And remember from the laws of logarithm, when we are multiplying two numbers, then that is equivalent to adding them. That is equivalent to adding those two numbers. So we need to add these two numbers and get a solution. So upon adding these two numbers, what do we get? What do we get here? So 1 plus 1 is 2. 5 plus 4 is 9. 0 plus 5 is 5. 5 plus 1 is 6. But 2 plus 1 is the same as but 2 plus 1, which is like negative 2 plus 1. That is negative 1, which we write here as but 1. So that is what we have. So we are done with the numerator. We are done with the numerator. Then we get to the denominator. The denominator, the number is 0 0.006. So this number, when we write it in its standard form, we have it as 6.0 times 10. Because the decimal has moved 1, 2, 3 times. So we have it as about 3. And the logarithm of that number, we start by indicating the power yeah, that is about three point. Then we come to our tables, we look at the logarithm of 6.0. The logarithm of 6.0. The logarithm of 6.0. What do we get? We get the logarithm of 6.0 to be 0 0.7782. 0 0.7782. So, 0 0.7 seven eight two having gotten that we see again from the equation that we are supposed to divide so the loss of logarithms tells us that when you are dividing logs you just basically need to subtract the two so when we do this subtraction this is what we are going to obtain so what are we subtracting from what this is what we are subtracting from the sum that we had gotten here. So what is 2 minus 2? That is 0. 9 minus 8, that is 1. 5 subtract 7. No, so we can carry 1 here. So we have a 5 as a remainder. So 15 minus 7, we have 8. 5 minus 7. So again here we can carry. So we can borrow 1 here. So this will be bar 2 because we've deducted 1 from it and if we have 15 there minus 7 again it's 8 so we have bar 2 minus bar 3 so that is like negative 2 minus negative 3 so a minus and a minus is a positive so negative 2 plus 3 is a whole number 1 so we get 1.8 810 1 1.8810 so this is not our solution because when we look at this question it is raised to power 2 over 3 so this basically means that we need to get the cube root of this number then we square it at this stage now we multiply our solution here by the power that we have here. So we are going to take this multiplied by 2 over 3. So what do we get? So we can start by solving the numerator. So we have 1.8810 multiplied by 2. What does that give us? This is 0, this is 2, this is 6 carry 1, that is 7 carry 1 then we have 3.7620 then we divide that now by 3 so we are going to divide this by 3 we divide it by 3 so 3 goes into 3 1 times point 3 goes into 7 twice remainder 1 3 goes into 16 
5 times because of 15, remainder 1, and into 12 it goes 4, then 0. So we have it as 1.2540. Now, to get to the solution, we are going to go back up to this stage. So we are going to write this number in the standard form. Then after getting that number in the standard form, then we can now get the number itself. So what do we do from this stage to this stage? So the reverse of it is called the antilog. So we are going to get the antilog of this particular number. So you realize that when we are in this particular stage, from this stage to this stage, you realize that we are taking the power here, then we have it as the characteristic part. So this a similar thing, a reverse thing is going to happen here. So we are going to have 10 raised to power, the characteristic part of this value is 1, multiplied. Now whatever we are going to have before this is the antilog, antilog of this number. And how do we get the antilog of 2540? So we go to our tables, we look at antilog. So we want to get the antilog of 25. 40 25 40 so we come here we find that 25 is right here then 4 is here so where does it coincide at 1.795 then 0 0 0 is just the same as having it as 25 4 so 0 is insignificant so what we are going to have is just 1.795 1.795 which we multiply by 10 raised to power 1 to get the number by so doing we get 17.95 and this becomes our solution so we have it as 17.95 that is the answer Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to share, like and subscribe.